What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about three things that sucks about being an aircraft mechanic. Guys, being an aircraft mechanic or an aircraft maintenance engineer has a lot of benefit, but just like every other career, there are pros and cons. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the cons of being an aircraft mechanic. The first thing I'm going to talk about is working night shift. Yes, I know I've said it in a lot of my videos. I feel like Aircraft mechanics or aircraft maintenance engineers have one of the best schedules ever. Uh, for you guys who know, most of us do, especially in Canada, most of us do have this schedule called 455. So basically, we work four days, we get five days off, we work five days, we get four days off, and we work five days and get five days off. And I feel like that schedule is perfect, you know, because on your days off, you can actually do stuff. You know, you can spend more time with your family, if you have families, you can travel, you can do something around your house. Like, you can actually have another job on, on the side too. But in as much as that days off, um, we are humans, you know, and our body is not, our body is not designed for staying up all night, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to lie that night shift sometimes, I do feel it. And this is just my honest review to you guys, you know, because I want to give you guys the real reality for you guys that are trying to come into the industry so you guys can prepare yourself mentally i'm not gonna lie that night shift sometimes i do feel it you know sometimes i'm like man i'm tired as hell. especially on your days off you know you need at least one day to recover you know because switching from the regular night shift schedule to the regular day shift schedule is like sometimes you feel it man i'm not gonna lie and this is just my honest review, but I'm not trying to discourage you guys. You know, I just want to prepare you guys for the reality of, you know, becoming an aircraft mechanic. And one of them is, is working night shifts. You know, people that have been in the industry for a really long time can testify to it. Um, but the good thing about aircraft mechanics is, or aircraft maintenance engineers, is you can always move to the top, you know, because people are going to be retiring and companies will need both night and day shifts right so you can always move to the top your scenario you can build your scenario and you know with time you, you can get a day shift right but starting off your career especially for apprentices that are just starting off your career you got to be mentally ready for it because you are going to be doing night shift the second second thing i'm going to talk about that sucks about being an aircraft mechanic is the low starting pay Guys, I know I've said, you know, being an aircraft mechanic, you can make a lot of money. You know, especially for people that are trying to get into entrepreneurship, you can make really good money as a as a contractor, as an aircraft mechanic, or even a licensed full-time person, man. You can make pretty good money. But I still feel like the starting pay is pretty, pretty, pretty low. Um, I When I started off my career as an apprentice, I started off getting like $19 an hour, you know, um, and that was pretty low. You know, I got lucky because I was in a city whereby it was not that expensive, right? But I can't imagine people that are living in like a big city like Toronto, for example, or Vancouver, starting off with a really low pay can be, you know, can be a disadvantage and can reduce your morale, you know what I mean? Like, but you're, that's why I preach to you guys, you know, focus on your license because, when you get your license, that's when you actually start making real money. You know what I mean? And just like every other career, you got to start from somewhere. You got to build the experience. And the more you build the experience, the more you build your qualification. And that's when you start making the real money. You know, but I still feel like, you know, companies got to do better with the starting pay, especially with the economy right now. Um, and this is just the reality, man. You know, we all have to go through that. 17 19 dollars an hour you know it's even better now i'm not gonna lie as an apprentice right now you can make at least decently 24 25 dollars an hour you know um people that started 10 five years ago they can testify and man i started off with 19 dollars an hour you know what i mean and most of my co-workers that are licensed now they started off with really slow pay um but just that's just the reality man you gotta start with low pay and the more you be the experience the more you get more qualifications you get a license you get your type courses you know i guarantee you man you're gonna start making more money and the last thing i'm gonna talk about that sucks about being an aircraft mechanic is the exposure to dangerous environments and chemicals guys this is just the reality of being an aircraft mechanic and and that is something that i have realized over time that man you know i had to switch my mentality a lot and that is because being an aircraft mechanic, right, you're going to be using a lot of chemicals, and these chemicals are not friendly, you know. They, they, a lot of them are 
can cause cancer, can cause any type, a lot of diseases, and that's just the reality. But guys, I'm not here to scare you guys, you know, I'm here to give you guys the reality, you know, and if surprisingly, I'm going to tell you guys a story, surprisingly, right, I have never been a fan of height, you know, and I remember the first, not the first job, like the first time I had to work on the, the rudder, right, and, and I had to do some, I had to change one of the actuators on the rudder, and I'm talking about, I was working on the 320, right, and I had to use the genie boom to take me up to the, to like 50, 50 feet from the ground, you know what I mean, and I've never been a fan of height, but it's something I had to adapt with time, but that's just the reality, man, and not to scare you guys, and that is why companies do have safety policies, you know, they have SMS, they have the PPE to protect you, you know what I mean, and once you fall, start following the PPE procedure, you start using your protective equipment, I guarantee you, man, you can, you know, there's a lot of people that have been in the industry for 30 years, and they don't have diseases, so, you can't survive, you know what I mean? But just to give you guys the reality, man, you're going to be exposed to a lot of chemicals. You're going to be using a lot of chemicals. And I know how we are humans, you know. Even me too, sometimes, I'm being honest with you guys, I do neglect my PPE sometimes. And it's not because I don't want to use it, but sometimes you're just really, really into the job. And taking that next 20 seconds to go grab your know, gloves or grab something, like, you know what I mean? We are humans, man. We all make mistakes. Um, but just as the reality, man, you're going to be exposed to a lot of tox toxic chemicals. Um, but yeah, there are hosts, there are PPEs to protect you guys, man. So once you get your apprentice job, you get your first job, you want to make sure you follow the PPE. And I guarantee you, man, you're going to you're gonna last in the industry, all right? And those are the three things I feel like it sucks about being an aircraft mechanic. Uh, for, you guys, for you guys that are aircraft mechanics or aircraft maintenance engineers or AMP technicians, uh, you wanna you can drop your experience, your you, you, what you your own belief in the comment section, what you think that you know sucks about being an aircraft mechanic. But this is my own experience. This is something I feel like you know with time it's gonna get better. You know what I mean. But starting off, this is something you gotta be prepared for. All right. For you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Peter. I'm an aircraft ma licensed aircraft maintenance engineer. And I do have hundreds of videos regarding aircraft maintenance engineering on my channel. If you're trying to become an aircraft maintenance engineer and you need someone to guide you through, you need information regarding aircraft maintenance engineering, I do offer free consultation. And all you got to do is text me on Instagram. I'm going to drop my Instagram in the comment section in the description. All you got to do is text me and we can schedule your call, right? For you guys that are new to my channel, you find my video informative. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys.